Adding a little shine to the hair can really help it stand out. I'll show you how to do this in Photoshop. Okay, so this uh, is pretty straightforward, but the thing about this um, tutorial is that a lot of the steps I'm going to go through will make the hair start out looking, well, not the way you want it. So bear with me while I get all the way through it, and then you'll see the effects. So we're going to grab the lasso tool, and we're going to select an area around her hair. Okay, now we have this selection. Press Command or Control J to duplicate just the hair. And now we're going to go to Image Adjustments Levels. And what we want to do is brighten this up a little bit. So take this little bracket and move it toward the left. That'll help brighten it. Change the mids around so it's not obvious. And you can mess around with the blacks, and that way it'll be a little bit more, uh, it'll favor the more highlighted parts of the hair. Press OK. And now we want to change the layer blend mode on this particular layer to exclusion. And don't worry, that's what we want, it's normal. It basically makes it so the highlights stand out a little bit more, but as you can see, so does the scalp. That's not what we want, but that's fine. Now, we want to duplicate this layer, Command and Control J. And we want to grab the blur tool. And with the blur tool, You want to blur out the edges because it's obvious that when I use the lasso to isolate this layer that you can see where everything is. Just get through there, do the best you can with it. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be blending a lot more in a bit. Okay, that works well enough. Now we want to change the blend mode on this particular layer to Linear Dodge. Yeah, I know, it makes it ugly. Trust me, we're okay. And now we want to shift click on layer one and layer one copy. If these two layers are on either side of each other, like in between the background layer, then you would press Command or Control to click. That way you don't click all three layers. Now you right click and select Merge Layers and then simply reduce the opacity down to 20%. Let's make it 15. And that's pretty good. It's meant to be subtle, but it's also meant to be there. So I'll turn off the effect and turn it back on. There, now she has a little bit of shine in her hair. And like I said, it, the, what, these effects make it so the highlights are shining and nothing else. It makes it natural. And when you add shine, it's gonna bake, it's gonna make the more important parts of the image, her eyes and her mouth, her face, stand out a lot more. Okay guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any questions or requests regarding touch-ups and enhancements with Photoshop, please send me an email to requestsitmahalo.com and please be sure to also rate, comment, and subscribe below.